I'll do it a little bit quicker, though. So it's not a difference of two squares, so I actually have to multiply every single term. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times cosine is cosine of beta. 1 times negative sine of beta is negative sine of beta. Negative sine of beta times cosine of beta is negative 1. Does everybody agree with me that sine times cosecant is 1? No. OK, what's the problem? Oh, it's cosecant up there? So this is cosecant. OK, thank you. Sorry about that. Oh, that would make sense, right? Cos cosine would be that. So what the heck did I do? So that's cosecant. Yeah, I was, I was like doing it in my head. But that's still negative 1. I said it wrong, but I should have. So, sine, wait, so cosecant and sine are reciprocals of each other. Anytime you multiply a number by its reciprocal, it's 1, right? Is everybody okay with that first step? Okay. No. No? Good? Okay. Yeah. What's up? Um, what, if, what if there'd be like sine of beta times cosecant of beta? Yes. Sine of beta times cosecant of beta. Mm -hmm. Cosecant of beta is the reciprocal of sine of beta. So it's 1. That's why I wrote 1 there. And since that's a negative, um, negative sign, it's negative 1. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. OK. All right, so now, obviously, you guys see we have 1 minus, uh, 1, minus 1 is 0. So that's not going to be included. And then the other thing is um, I have sine minus, oh, that's already there. Oh, that was simple. Done, verified. Same as the other side. Huh? <laughs> they just wanted you to multiply and simplify. Oh, that was a 